Hello students, welcome to our read aloud. We've been making connections to Earth Day this week, to our learning about Jefferson, who thought that agriculture, the science of plants, right, was the most important to our new country, the United States, when he was president. And we've been making connections to your learning with Senora Santiago about beans and the life cycle of beans. So let's learn more about some other kinds of vegetables. Here we go with Carrots Grow Underground by Mary Shu. And there on the front, I can see those carrots growing underground. Carrots Grow Underground by Mary Shu. Table of contents. Under the soil, growing, flowers and seeds, many vegetables grow underground. Glossary, read more internet sites and index. Oh wow, look at all those greens. Under the soil, green stems and leaves sprout from the soil. Underground, vegetables grow larger and larger every day. And look, it's so cute. The little symbol by the page numbers is a cute little carrot. Life cycle of a carrot. Here's a diagram, right? We've learned how a diagram helps us understand information in a information or nonfiction book. So they start out as seeds, and then as they grow a little, they're called seedlings. And then they start to grow into carrots, and the green part on top will keep growing and growing and growing and push up flowers. And then the flowers drop their seeds, and the cycle goes all over again. Plant roots grow underground. People eat the roots of some plants. Carrots are one kind of root vegetable. Oh, okay, I see some sprouting and then another close-up of some seeds. Growing. Carrots start as tiny seeds. They are planted in cool weather. In one to three weeks, seedlings slowly grow above the soil. Ooh, look at that, look at that, with all those little things coming out. Under the soil, the carrots grow longer and thicker. Deep, loose soil helps carrots grow long and straight. Wow, those are like little tiny roots. Like that's like the big root we eat and those are tiny roots getting more nutrients from the soil. Long stems and lacy leaves grow from the carrot tops. After two to three months, Crunchy vegetables are pulled from the ground. Flowers and seeds. Carrots that stay underground all winter grow flowers and seeds the next year. Later, the tiny carrot seeds become new carrot plants. Many vegetables grow underground. Many vegetables grow the way carrots do. Radishes, beets, and parsnips are other root vegetables. So here's a diagram, again, to help us with our learning. There's radishes, I think rabanos, beets, I don't know the word in Spanish for that, and parsnips. I don't know if you'll remember the Dr. Seuss book, The Pants With Nobody Inside Them, and how I had a little parsnip that's shaped like little pants. But parsnips have funny shapes sometimes. Onions and potatoes start their life in the ground, too. Vegetables grown underground give us healthy food to eat. So there's onions and potatoes. So lots of stuff we eat grows underground, right? There's the glossary. Root, an underground plant part that takes in nutrients and water to be used by the plant to grow. Some plants grow roots that store a lot of nutrients. People eat these roots as vegetables. Seedling, a young plant that has grown from a seed. Soil, we know that, sprout and stem. And there's the index. So we gotta do something. And the thing I like to do is check out the life cycle diagram again, because I think it's really cool how they show the life cycle of a carrot from seeds to seedling 
two carrots, two flowers. That's called when it goes to seed, it like shoots up, it bolts and starts growing flowers and then little seeds will come from those again. So I hope you enjoyed. Carrots grow underground. Go eat some root vegetables, they're really good for you. <laughs> Don't forget to keep washing your hands, cover your coughs and sneezes, do some reading, do some writing, help your family around the house, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.